yeah i mean i've i've had a uh angel sitting on my shoulder all my life so it's uh, affected the way i've made decisions and doing things and i've decided to try to help other people with that what do you mean angels sitting on your shoulders elaborate well all the all the things that i've been able to do in my life uh the people i've met uh i couldn't have arranged it any better uh, my time in when i was in the navy it was it was perfect it um it started off everything fell into place i'm going to cover this first then i'll go into what my other project is everything fell into place they signed me up for my school when i get in the navy and they send me to san francisco to, to my school when i get there the guy goes well you're not supposed to be here yet because you should have taken the other school the basic one I'm like oh i already know that because i had it in high school doesn't matter just the military we got to do things by the book so he sends me home for a month and a half because the other school's already started so i go home for a month and a half go down to san diego for the other school it's a nine-week course i passed it in three and a half weeks because i already knew all the material and they sent me home again to wait for the next one to start all this stuff throughout my life uh they fly me to the philippines to meet my ship who's in battle off of Vietnam and Cambodia. The first week out, they had a shell explode in the front barrel of the gun and disabling the gun, a big six inch shell. But it also disabled all the ammunition. They couldn't trust any of it. So we went back to the Philippines where I was stationed for a little bit for about two weeks while they decided what to do. And then they sent me home back to San Diego on the ship. So that was my entire overseas career. They flew me to the Philippines. We went out for a week, came back to San Diego, and then the ship went in the yard. And they took my equipment off the ship, so I had nothing to do.